Hello! In this tutorial for ALICE 3, we're going to learn about the concept of inheritance, and we're going to use inheritance to create a dance that we can synchronize for all these biped characters together. Inheritance isn't a concept that's limited to ALICE. All object-oriented languages, including C++, Java, Python, and many others support inheritance. Let's say we want these characters to do a synchronized dance. Now one way to approach it would be we could put some commands in a method that's part of the scene. So like my first method is part of the scene so we can access all of these characters that are in the scene. So for example we could go to the alien and we could have him move in a direction. Then we could go to uh, Sasha and we could have her move in the same direction. But that requires us to have a line of code to have each person do the same move. And that's very inefficient. So what we're going to do is we're going to use inheritance to create a method that gets inherited to all of these characters. Then we just have to call the method once for each character. Let's look at a map that shows how all these characters are related. Now, this is only for the characters in the scene. Also understand there's some super classes up here that I haven't drawn in. And that's because we can't access them as an Alice programmer, so we're not going to worry about them. So we can see... All of these four characters are part of the biped class. The alien is a subclass of biped, means it inherits all methods from biped. Then person is a subclass of biped. And then we have adult person, which is a subclass of person, and teen person, which is a subclass of person. We always inherit from our superclasses. So biped is a superclass of person, person is a superclass of an adult person. We can see we've got a jaguar here that's a quadruped. And in this case, it can't inherit from biped because the biped and quadruped superclass are different. Also notice we have two instances of the teen person class. And you can see each of these instances look different because the properties are different. But they're still both instances of the teen person class. We can't make one method that's going to allow all five characters to dance. Because, again, the jaguar is part of the quadruped class. However, if we made a method that was part of the biped class, it would get inherited down to alien, and it would get inherited down to adult person and teen person. So let's do that. So we're going to go here back to Alice. We're going to do the drop down, and we're going to go to biped. And then we're going to make the procedure type of method. So the procedure type of method it does something that doesn't return any data, and we don't need it to return any data. So we're going to say add biped procedure, and we're going to call this biped dance. Notice we're using lower camel case. We'll hit OK. Now you can see in this case we've just got a generic outline of a biped. And that's because we're writing a list of commands that can apply to any biped. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to this. And again, this is the only thing we have, the generic biped, because we're making a method that's part of the biped class. And then we're going to go down to turn. And we're going to start by turning left 0.25, which is a quarter turn. Then we're going to turn right a half turn, then turn left again a quarter turn. Next, we're going to move the head. So we're going to drop down here and hit this so we can go to the body parts. And these body parts are part of all biped classes. We're going to go to get head. So now we're accessing methods that are part of the head. And we're going to say turn left 0.25, which is a quarter turn. Then we're going to turn right 0.5 and then turn left a quarter turn again. Now we want to have the characters move up and down. So we want to have that apply to the entire biped, not just the head. So we're going to drop down again and hit this so it's the entire biped. Then we're going to say move up 0.5 and then move down 0.5. If we run this, nothing will happen because the only method that runs automatically is my first method. So we go to my first method, and let's look at our first biped. We've got adult Sasha. And you see she inherited the biped dance, so now we can call biped dance for Sasha. And then the next one is Teen George. And Teen George is also a biped, so 
he inherited the biped dance. Then Teen Cindy, she inherited the biped dance. And then Alien Alf inherited the biped dance. And we can double check and see that Hungry Jaguar is not a biped, so it didn't inherit a method from the biped class, so you can see it doesn't have it. Now we want this to be synchronized, so we're going to do this all at once. So we're going to grab a do together block, then put everything inside the do together block, and then let's run it. Let's restart that, and we can see they're all doing a synchronized dance. Using the concept of inheritance, we're able to write one method that got inherited to all our characters, and then we just had to call that one method. So we could have a hundred characters, and we wouldn't have to write individual commands for each of them. We'd make a method in one of their shared superclasses and let it get inherited down. To see the next Alice 3 video in this curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire Alice 3 curriculum, please click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.